It's mind-boggling to think about how many things have been built throughout the history of mankind. Buildings, bridges, roads, houses, theaters, and temples. Humans have been building things for thousands of years. So with that said, join me as we take a look at the top 15 most incredible ancient structures. Number 15. The Great Wall of China the Great Wall of China is the longest man-made structure ever built, so to call it an incredible ancient structure is an understatement. The wall spans an impressive 13,170 miles, which is roughly half the length of the equator. The highest part of the wall is 46 feet high and the average width is 21 feet. It's also 2,700 years old and it weaves its way across 15 different regions in China. The wall was built in 215 BC as defense against the Huns. Today, upwards of 50 million tourists come to see this ancient structure every year, and it's estimated that it took 1 million laborers to construct this unparalleled feat of engineering. Number 14. The Aqueduct of Segovia The grand and majestic Segovia Aqueduct is one of the best preserved Roman aqueducts. It's a staple in the history of Segovia, and it's revered for its masonry. The aqueduct is 2,600 feet long, and it was once used to carry water from the Rio Frio River. The ancient structure was built from unmortared granite blocks, around 24,000 of them to be exact, and has 165 arches. The three tallest arches once had the name of the builder displayed in bronze letters. And basically enough, because the aqueduct is so well preserved, it still carries water today from the river to the city of Segovia. It was also designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. Number 13. Borobudur Temple The Borobudur is a Buddhist temple, and it's one of the most complex buildings in the world. It's not known who built the temple, nor what its intended use was, but it's believed to have been built around 750 AD. Historians also believe that it took around 75 years to create this ancient masterpiece. Borobudur comprises nine stacked platforms, six of which are square and three of which are circular. It's topped by a central dome. The entire temple is decorated with statues and relief panels. There's also over 500 Buddha statues and 2,600 relief panels in there. The temple was built using over 180,000 cubic feet of stone that was brought over from nearby rivers. The temple didn't really achieve any worldwide notice until 1814, when Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles brought the wonders and splendor of this incredible temple to the world. Borobudur is the most visited tourist attraction in Indonesia, welcoming roughly 2.4 million visitors per year. It is also listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 12. The Colosseum the Colosseum is a massive amphitheater that was commissioned by the Roman Emperor Vespasian in 70 AD. It opened in 80 AD, and over the span of four centuries, the Colosseum welcomed fans to come and cheer on the wild games and fights of the famous gladiator combats. Over time, two-thirds of the Colosseum fell into ruin, but today, what is left remains one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world. The Colosseum is 630 feet by 513 feet, making it the largest amphitheater in the Roman Empire. This ancient structure was built from stone and concrete, and one of the most distinctive features was its three stories of arched entrances. The Colosseum had a capacity of 50,000 spectators, and although what we have left today is a far cry from the Colosseum's original grandeur, the Colosseum is still one of the most iconic ancient structures in the world. Number 11. Petra, the Rose City Established around 312 BC, Petra, also known as the Rose City because of its colored stone, was the capital of the Nabataeans. Petra was named one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007, and it's one of the oldest cities on Earth. Only about 15% of this ancient city has been explored since its discovery in 1812 by Johann Ludwig Brechthardt. The city had basically been unknown for about five centuries, which is why Petra is sometimes called the Lost City. There are roughly 800 tombs in the city, and the most famous, called the Treasury, is more than 2,000 years old. It's believed that Petra was once home to about 30,000 people, and today the city is famous for its stunning rock-cut architecture. Number 10. Stonehenge Few ancient structures have sparked the fascination and imagination of the world quite like Stonehenge. Stonehenge is located in Wiltshire, and the structure features a circle of massive stones. 
It was started around 5,000 years ago during the late Neolithic age, and it's estimated that it took more than a thousand years to complete. Stonehenge has 30 standing stones called sarsens. Inside the sarsens were five stone arches that formed a horseshoe shape, along with four station stones, which were located outside the central monument. The mystery surrounding this circle of stones is how exactly this monument was built. Since it was built thousands of years ago, no one really knows for sure how the massive stones were transported. There are plenty of theories, but they're all just that, theories. Stonehenge and how exactly those massive rocks were hauled into place still remains a mystery today. Number 9. El Castillo The famous pyramid El Castillo at Chichen Itza stands proud in Yucatan, Mexico, and has done so for centuries. Chichen Itza is an archaeological site and was once a bustling economic hub for the ancient Mayan civilization. El Castillo, or the Temple of Cuculcan, is the most visited structure in all of Mexico, and it stands at the center of Chichen Itza. The pyramid was built from the 8th to the 12th century AD and is classified as a Mesoamerican steppe pyramid. El Castillo has a height of 98 feet, including the temple. The pyramid has stairs on all four sides with around 91 steps each, and the pyramid is decorated with sculptures of serpents. But the most striking feature of El Castillo is that during both the spring and fall equinoxes, the afternoon sun hits the northwest corner, and when this happens, the sun casts shadows on the northwest balustrade, and the shadows look like a feathered serpent crawling down the pyramid. Chichen Itza has been classified as one of the new seven wonders of the world, and it's also listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 8. Gobekli Tepe The Gobekli Tepe contains the world's oldest known megaliths, and this ancient structure was built between 9500 and 8000 BCE. Pillars contain fascinating details that have given historians and archaeologists some extremely rare insights into prehistoric peoples of that time. The pillars feature carvings of abstract symbols, strange animals, and human hands. The site also features a few rectangular buildings and some quarries. It's located in southeastern Turkey, and this very ancient site wasn't discovered until 1994 by German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt. The discovery of this site was revolutionary, since it appears to be a place of ancient religious gathering or worship. This contradicts previous beliefs that organized religion happened after civilizations had agriculture, because the Gobekli Tepe was built long before cultures had agriculture. As such, it's still shrouded in mystery, and it's still being studied by historians and archaeologists worldwide. Number 7. Lashan Giant Buddha If you want to see a really big, and I mean really big Buddha, then you best make your way to Lashan in the Sichuan province. The Lashan Giant Buddha is the largest stone Buddha in the world. It's also the largest stone carving in the world. This amazing structure stands at 71 meters tall and was carved right out of the mountainside. The Buddha was made during the Tang Dynasty, and carving started in 713, and it took a whopping 90 years to complete. It's believed that the Buddha, whose eyes are fixed on the water, would help calm the turbulent river, where many ships had crashed. Over the years, some people believe that the giant Buddha has actually shown emotion by opening and closing his eyes. When his eyes are closed, he is sad. When they're open, he is happy. However, the opening and closing of the eyes was really just the result of air pollution and bad weather. In any case, the Lashan giant Buddha is an incredible ancient structure of great cultural, historical, and spiritual significance. Number 6. Sacsayhuaman the Sacsayhuaman is a stone complex built in the 15th century by the Inca. The wall features massive stones that were carefully cut to fit together. The amazing thing about this complex is the precision. The stones fit tightly together without mortar. It's believed that it was originally built as a fortress, and today there's only about a quarter of it left. The site's located about one mile north of Cusco, and the site features shrines, warehouses, towers, aqueducts, and residential buildings. The Sacsayhuaman was the largest structure ever built by the Incas, and some of the structures have these huge stone blocks that weigh more than a hundred tons. The site is a testament to just how skilled the ancient Incas were at stone masonry. Sacsayhuaman is one ancient marvel and one of the most incredible ancient structures on the planet. Number 5. Pondugard Ancient Roman aqueducts were a magnificent feat of engineering, 
and the still standing Pont du Gard is a testament to this. The Pont du Gard is located close to Vers Pont du Gardin in France, and the aqueduct was built to provide the Roman colony of Nemausus with water. The stunning aqueduct crosses the Gardon River and it's exceptionally well preserved. It's the tallest of all ancient Roman aqueducts with a height of 160 feet. Today, Pont du Gard has a total length of about 900 feet, but its original length was about 1180 feet. The aqueduct was built between 40 and 60 AD, and it features three tiers of beautiful arches made from Shelley limestone. When in use, the aqueduct was able to transport more than 8 million imperial gallons of water every day over a stretch of 31 miles. When the Roman Empire fell, the aqueduct was no longer used to carry water, but it was still used as a toll bridge. And because it was used as a toll bridge, the aqueduct was well maintained over the years. Today, it's an important French structure and a very popular tourist destination. Number 4. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu was built around 1450 AD and means Old Peak or Old Mountain in the Quechua India language. The site's composed of more than 150 buildings covering a wide range of things from houses to temples, baths, and sanctuaries. There's also more than 100 individual flights of stairs within the complex, and most of those flights were carved from just one slab of stone. It's believed that these massive stones were rolled up the hill by workers, which is incredible, since some of the stones were more than 50 tons in weight. No one's really sure of what the purpose of Machu Picchu was, but some popular theories are that it was a secret ceremonial center or some sort of royal estate. Machu Picchu was really only known by locals until 1911, when Hiram Bingham, a Yale professor, found the site and wrote a book about it called The Lost City of the Incas. Once that book hit the shelves, Machu Picchu was thrust in front of an international audience, and today, the ancient structures of Machu Picchu are the most visited tourist attraction in Peru. Number 3. Derinkuyu Underground City The Derinkuyu Underground City is exactly as it sounds. It's an ancient city that's entirely underground. The city is located in the Nevashir province in Turkey, and it extends down into the earth to a depth of about 279 feet. The underground city had all the ancient amenities one would expect from any city, including cellars, storage rooms, chapels, stables, and even schools. The city was built during the Byzantine era, and it's believed that the city was used to protect people from the Muslim Arabs during the Arab-Byzantine Wars. The city lay underground, dormant and forgotten until 1963, when someone found a strange room behind a wall in his house. From there, the city was rediscovered, and in 1969, parts of the city were open to the public for visiting. The Derinkuyu underground city had room for 20,000 people, and this fascinating city is well known for some of its extraordinary features. For example, the city and the people in it could be completely closed off from the above-ground world by way of large stone doors. This ensured their safety underground. The city also boasts an ingenious ventilation system and a well for clean drinking water. Needless to say, people who lived in the Derinkuyu underground city had everything they needed. The city even had livestock and cellars for wine preparation. Number 2. Abu Simbel Temple When it comes to ancient Egyptian structures, the Pyramid of Giza gets all the hype. But the Abu Simbel Temple deserves its fair share of attention too. Why? Because this ancient structure is absolutely incredible. The Abu Simbel Temple was commissioned by the most famous and most celebrated king of ancient Egypt, King Ramesses II. The temple was built to commemorate and celebrate the king's victory at the Kadish battle in 1274 BC. The temple was dedicated to ancient Egyptian gods, including Amon and Ptah. The site is actually composed of two temples, the Grand Temple and the Small Temple. The Grand Temple is 98 feet high and 114 feet long and features a carving of King Ramesses II sitting on his throne. Inside the temple, there are rooms full of descriptions of King Ramesses, various military victories, as well as pictures of ancient Egyptian gods. And while building an entire temple centered around your own bragging rights may seem vain, the small temple was dedicated to the Queen Nefertari, who was King Ramesses' favorite wife. So at least the entire site isn't just about him. The Abu Simbel Temple was widely forgotten about until it was explored in 1817 by Giovanni Battista Bellazzoni. And although the temple boasts a number of important inscriptions and beautiful sculptures, it really is the solar alignment that makes this temple famous. 
The temple's aligned with the sun in such a way that twice a year the sun penetrates into the temple and lights up three statues for Ramesses II. The first day is February 22nd, which celebrates the agricultural season, and the second is October 22nd, which celebrates the flooding season. The dates are also the same dates as Ramesses' birth and coronation. The precise alignment of the temple continues to be one of ancient Egypt's most studied phenomena. Today, the temples are not in their original location. The temples were moved in 1964 to save them from the Nile after the high dam was constructed. The process was arduous and was called the most difficult and challenging archaeological process in history, but the effort was well worth it since the temples were spared and continued to be a popular tourist attraction. Number 1. The Great Pyramids of Giza It's impossible to think of ancient Egypt without thinking of pyramids. Pyramids have become synonymous with ancient Egypt, and when it comes to ancient ones, it's almost impossible not to think of the Great Pyramid of Giza. They are the largest, the most famous, and the widely recognized ones, and they're the most studied pyramids in the world. The pyramids Khufu, Khafre, and Menkore were built to honor the pharaohs they're named after. And while they're all impressive in their own right, the largest of the Great Pyramids is the Pyramid of Giza, which was built for the pharaoh Khufu. The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and it's estimated that it took 2.3 billion bricks to construct this incredible monument. It's 455 feet tall, but it shrunk slightly over the years. The tombs inside the chamber were once filled with treasures for the deceased king and queen to bring with them to the afterlife, but those treasures have long since been looted, and today the chamber is pretty empty. The Pyramid of Giza holds a lot of mystery and unanswered questions. Historians aren't really sure how the pyramids were built, but they estimated that it took more than 100,000 construction workers to build it. There are a lot of theories as to the actual construction of the pyramids, but no one's really sure how they transported or lifted those heavy stones. Furthermore, the pyramids were built with such amazing precision that it still baffles historians today. And there are still places inside the pyramid that have not been accessed, so the pyramid likely still holds some unexplored secrets. In any case, the Great Pyramid of Giza is the oldest pyramid of the Great Pyramids and one of the oldest ancient structures still standing. It truly is awe-inspiring, which is why the Great Pyramid of Giza is the number one spot on this list of the top 15 incredible ancient structures. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.